Former tropical storm Isaias is now a Category 1 hurricane. The storm all has already brought flash flooding and mudslides to Puerto Rico. Now the East Coast is bracing from Florida to Maine. ABC News senior meteorologist Rob Marciano is tracking it all for us from Miami. Good morning, Rob. Hi, good morning, Diane. This uh, forecast has gotten more ominous in a hurry after doing some uh, serious damage to Puerto Rico. I want to get to those images right now because that's dramatic stuff that happened uh, in the last two days. Intense amount of rain on the western part of that island. Look at that. Uh, kids uh, being carried out by soldiers out of those floodwaters and flash flooding and mudslides through some of these more hilly towns are uh, really doing some, uh, some uh, damage there. So uh, a tough go for Puerto Rico, no doubt about that. The Dominican Republic as well. And now it's, it's ramping up into uh, a formidable hurricane with tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings out for much of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, which get it today. A lot of warm water here, not a whole lot of land, so we expect it to become a, a Category 2 hurricane tonight into tomorrow morning, getting abreast of Miami, then West Palm, Melbourne, uh, tomorrow night into Sunday, then getting close to Charleston, uh, the Carolinas Monday, Tuesday, and Tuesday night, even making a run uh, at the Northeast. So uh, there is not a whole lot of confidence still with this forecast. So that cone is what you have to focus on, meaning that the entire East Coast is going to be under the gun here uh, for potential impacts. Storm surge one to five feet with this, winds 50 to 80 plus mile per hour, and four to eight inches of rainfall, not just in the Bahamas, but I think uh, along the coast of uh, Florida and Georgia and even the Carolinas with damaging winds and dangerous surf rip currents, of course, if uh, those who, who dare go in the water. So a uh, high impact event coming here as we are already on the ninth named storm of this season, Diane. And Rob, Puerto Rico and the Caribbean are still rebuilding from Hurricane Maria. Plus, in Puerto Rico, they've been dealing with the pandemic and earthquakes. So how worried should we be about this new hurricane season for them? Well, we saw already what, uh, what this hurricane did to Puerto Rico, and they were in a drought. And they got all this rain in a hurry, and, that's, and flash flooding happened. So and when that happens, we had uh, hundreds of thousands of people without power. That infrastructure is still fragile mm -hmm. after Hurricane Maria. And running water, we had over 100,000 people without running water at one case and at one point. And, and in Mindorian that came through uh, the Bahamas last year, uh, parts of the northern Bahamas not even close to being rebuilt, and they're getting impacts now. Uh, from this storm. So, you know, rebuilding is slow on the mainland. It's even slower, as you can imagine, in some of these island communities. So uh, it's, it doesn't bode well for this active hurricane season. Well, and Rob, as you touched on, it's been an active and early hurricane season. Is that an indication of what's to come for the rest of the season? You know, Diane, we had uh, uh, our first name storm before hurricane season even started. And that's not typically, uh, you know, something that forebodes bad things to come. But this year, that's certainly been the case. We have all the parameters that have come together uh, to, to produce a, an active hurricane season. And we're already on our ninth storm, the eye storm. That's the earliest we've gotten to the eye storm on record. And we are still six weeks away from the peak of hurricane season. And just to look at that map, we've got two other systems that are coming off uh, the African coast. We call this Cape Verde season, which is these islands just off the coast. And these disturbances come off and they make their way typically all the way across the Atlantic. So it's uh, getting to be an active time. The peak, though, as I mentioned, is not until really the first and second week of September. That's when we really start to see things ramp up and water temperatures are above average up and down the East Coast. That's not a good thing. So we're more than just a little bit concerned about this hurricane season amidst the COVID pandemic. Not a good combination, but uh, Prepare for the worst and hope for the best, right? That's all we can do. We'll get through it. And Rob, I know you'll be tracking yep. it all for us, too, to help us out. So thanks for that and stay safe, friend. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.